Hi all, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk on a small video on how to configure antivirus profile in Power to Firewall. Basically, antivirus profile protects against uh, viruses, uh, worms, and spyware downloads. Uh, it's a um, uh, solution to provide protection for, uh, uh, like, you know, uh, all the applications installed clients uh, without impacting the performance of the applications so this is my small topology in this topology i have a, a inside network outside network and which is inside network is connected to 192.168.2.100 and outside is connected to 192.168.100.2 and 238.218 uh, is my management server i uh, have already logged into the uh, palo alto firewall so first we need to First, we need to create the objects. So, we should go to the objects, and that you can able to see your uh, security profiles. In the security profiles, you can find an uh, antivirus profile. So, by default, uh, antivirus profile we got a by default profile, so which is having a uh, this is a predefined one. So, we, we can use this one, but we cannot modify the default one. So, what we can do is we can clone this uh, profile select and clone click on clone and click on ok so we got the uh, default one it's a clone one and you can edit it based on your requirement so antivirus anti profile can see its uh, name so you can provide any friendly name so we provide antivirus profile And you can provide any descriptions and when it comes to antivirus uh, so you can capture the packet as well so packet capture if you want to click it's only the uh, it will define only one or two packets uh, captures so if you want to click can you can use it and decoders uh, basically the decoders uh, for each type of traffic that you want to inspect for virus select and select in actions so basically i want to uh, these are all the predefined actions suppose if you want to drop the HTTP packet select this one and click on drop so so basically default means uh, default uh, it refers as uh, both reset the uh, reset uh, connections from server side as well as client side and so allow means it, it allows the application start alert means generates an alert for each application for the traffic flow and drop means drop the application traffic reset the clients as so a for tcp reset the clients connections for udp drop the connection for reset server for TCP, reset the server side connections. For UDP, drop the connections. Resets both means uh, for both uh, TCP and UDP, uh, it will then reset the connection on both the client and server side. So these are all the actions. So I want to in my in my in this example, I want to draw test the HTTP connections. So I want to drop the packet. I want to drop the applications traffic. So click on drop and if you go to the virus exceptions, virus exceptions is basically it's a exceptions. So where you can define the thread IDs. Uh, uh, so which, uh, that will be uh, ignored by the antivirus profiles. So these are all the thread IDs. If you want to add any thread IDs, so that will be uh, uh, it will not uh, antivirus profile will not. Um, verifies those uh, thread IDs and application applications exceptions is applications exceptions this table allows uh, to define applications that will not be uh, inspected uh, by this profile because if you want to add any instagram so if you want to add insta if you don't want to inspect instagram so you can select it or any facebook you can select it so based on that it will not inspect the device profile for this uh, 
application sets uh, it will be excluded from the so i have created a antivirus profile so to work this antivirus profile so we need to go to the uh, policies so i have already predefined uh, the starting so from inside to outside so source is my inside network destination is my outside application is anything whichever the applications you want to access and service is also anything action so it's allowed so if you go to the action so it will be finding the profiles here so basically it will run at the starting it will not be there so you need to go to the profile settings and select the profiles and that you need to select uh, antivirus as of now it's none so click on antivirus profile click on ok before committing, I just wanted to test whether I have a, a, a test malware site. So this is for the only the lab purpose. So I have a ecan.org. This is for the virus affected site. So we, I wanted to test. So I copy paste the URL. I click on advance. Proceed to ecar. The site is got open. So if you see that this is an anti malware test file. So these are all the test files. So basically, uh, download are using the secure session enable protocol SDPs. So these are all the uh, we have got a text and we got a zip file. And you can see the text. Okay, when I click on that, the text got open. Okay, now I will download the zip file. Okay, the zip file got downloaded. So basically, I, I am not able to. I can stop these malware. So until unless I do a commit the changes. Okay, now we will commit the changes and we will test it again. Click on commit. Okay, we got the confirmation. Configuration committed successfully. Click on close. Go to the test machine. So now we will try to download the zip file. So we got the error was virus firmware download blocked. The owner of the virus has been logged in accordance with the company policy. Please contact your administrator. So, we are unable to download this file, zip file. So, go to the monitor, go to the threat. So, you can see the logs here virus, test care inside, outside. This is a web browsing dropped. So you can monitor the, you can extract the packet capture. Select this one and export it. Click on export. So we can open this in WinSCP. Or Wireshark, sorry. You can see this. Okay, if you want to check the logs, so click on the search left side corner so this is a session action is wrong application is web browsing inside to outside this is the rule is a log forward log action and this is the NAT ip 443 so this is a file name this is an antivirus content antivirus so so we have seen the how we can create the antivirus profile and attach to the uh, policy so i hope this video has been informative for you and i would like to say thank you for watching